is up you guys i'll go back to another one if you're new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car track suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2023 mercedes-benz c300 formatic coupe courtesy of mercedes-benz of hagerstown in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so we are in this one today because it is snowing right now it's supposed to snow today so i thought i can get some pretty stinking cool shots of this thing and i think we will but also it's been seven years since i've reviewed a c-class Coupe. So I'm happy to hop back in this one today because it is an incredibly good looking car. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so essentially there are two different configurations for the C300 Coupe. You got the rear wheel drive variant starting at $49,550 and then the Formatic all wheel drive being the one that we have today starting at $51,550. But regardless of the configuration that you go with, the power plant on this thing is going to be the same. Powering the Beast is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 255 horsepower, 5,800 RPM, 273 pound feet of torque coming in at 1,800 RPM. Power again sent to the rear wheels or all wheels through a nine speed automatic with paddle shifters, which you guys know we will be testing out here in a little bit. Zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 5.9 seconds. That's plenty impressive there. With MPG numbers coming in at 22 in the city, 31 on the highway, taking premium unleaded fuel. And so before we do any kind of fun acceleration or paddle shifter test here in our C300 Coupe, I wouldn't have mentioned you guys the drive modes is labeled dynamic. It stands for dynamic select. Essentially, that's going to give you drive modes like eco, comfort, sport, sport plus, and individual. Adjusting things like the shift points, the throttle response, the steering sensitivity, and the eco start stop system as well. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and get set up. Let's do a quick paddle shifter and acceleration test here. And let's see how quickly the paddle shifters are going to react for us here. And let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed in sport driving mode. Yeah, baby. Manual shift mode. It's going to tell you that on the gauges. And here we go. And there we go. Paddle shifters are quick. I like it, man. This thing is plenty quick. Your mode's definitely not going to have any issues merging onto the highway. That was fun. And it even tells you when to shift. If you are in the manual shift mode, it'll kind of give you the green arrow up to the next gear on the digital gauges here. So that is pretty dark hole. I love that acceleration. Definitely plenty quick. And the paddle shifters were actually surprisingly pretty darn quick as well. Not the very quickest, but Mercedes-Benz does have some quick reacting paddle shifters on their AMG models. I'll say that, but these aren't as quick as that, but they're still plenty quick without it being a dual clutch or anything like that. So plenty of fun in this thing but anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important so up front you will find 13 inch ventilated front discs in the back 11.8 inch solid rear discs as far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes it comes in at an incredible 112 feet so as far as braking feel goes it's insane holy cow it's a firm braking feel in this thing it instantly brings it to a stop not a soft braking feel whatsoever so wonderful sport sedan braking and this isn't a sedan I don't know why I said sedan, but wonderful braking gear in the C-Class Coupe because, again, very firm braking feel, 112 feet. That's definitely an impressive number there. But then touching on suspension and handling, up front you're going to get an independent four-link front axle in the back, independent five-arm multi-link rear design. Also, though, an adaptive damping suspension does come standard. So what that is, it's essentially going to monitor each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the road imperfections, giving you a smoother ride, but it's also going to tighten up the suspension during heavy cornering, really giving you the best of both worlds. So a lot of times, even on other luxury manufacturers, that's going to be an added option. But on the C300 formatic coupe here, it comes standard. So absolutely love that so also with the amg line package and we do have that amg line package actually with us here today that starts at 2100 by the way there's two of them but anyways that's going to add a sport suspension and sport steering to that as well so overall as far as ride quality goes it's been perfectly fine in my short test drive here today i would say the steering feel is definitely something i'm a fan of so leans on the heavier side of things it instantly points you in the direction that you want to go that's really what i'm enjoying in my short test drive here so far so the steering feel is weighted beautifully as far as cabin noise goes this is a perfect uh, example we're going 57 miles per hour there's a little bit of road noise i will say that you're going to get that with high profile tires but 
there isn't any wind noise whatsoever. I got the AC, or not the AC, I got the heat on right now. You guys might hear that, but yeah, it's freezing in the 30s. I don't have the AC on, but a little bit of road noise, but it doesn't bother me personally. Then touching on visibility, I can see 100% perfectly fine out the back. Definitely not gonna have any issues there. Rain sensing windshield wipers actually do come standard. So if the C-Class here detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on the windshield wipers for me. So just one last thing you gotta worry about there. So I love that. And if you wanted the head up display that is going to be available, it is an added option for an additional $1,100. That essentially projects your speed, speed limit and safety features up onto your windshield. So it adds forward visibility for you there. So you could better focus more of your attention on actually enjoying the drive in this thing. So that about rounds out the performance segment of this review guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 mercedes-benz c300 coupe all right and so here she is you guys the new 2023 mercedes-benz c300 formatic coupe finished in polar white in case you were curious of our exterior color name but as always let's go ahead and start with where this one is actually built and assembled so taking a look at the vin first character is the letter w indicating that the C-Class is indeed built and assembled in Germany, as it should be in my personal opinion. But anyways, let's go ahead and start up front on this one because we got something special front and center, of course. But Mercedes diamond block front grille, of course, coming standard, and that has always looked good. Very timeless design there. But I'm going to get up a little bit closer here so you guys can see this. Illuminated star. This is an added option. This goes for an additional $450. But on days like today, this is so pronounced, easily identifiable if you're coming coming in the opposite direction of this thing. I think that looks so dang good. And of course, juxtaposed with the uh, exterior lighting that we have here on this one, I'll touch on that in a second, definitely makes a statement without a doubt. But anyways, chrome accent on the front lip, unless you go with the uh, AMG line package, which is gonna give you a much more aggressive front fascia overall. So as you guys can see, the snow is definitely starting to come down now. So pretty cool. I love reviewing cars in the snow, but anyways. To the sides, LED headlights do come standard with LED daytime running lights, of course, as well. Automatic feature coming with that, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, those headlights will turn on automatically for you there. And automatic high beams as well. So if you have your high beams on at night, it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's going to automatically turn them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's going to automatically then bounce it back up to high beams. So definitely a convenience feature there. And you guys can see to the bottom corners there, you do have front air curtains, help direct air around the wheel and tire combination but one of my favorite parts if you guys can see just above the led daytime running lights it's kind of got like this fade out effect on the upper portion or actually it kind of fades out towards the middle but absolutely love the look of that lighting it's like nothing else on the road so huge fan of the front end it is a very timeless design still looks good to this day but anyways that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the side and so now since we are around to the side of the c300 coupe here chrome window surrounds again does come standard but as i keep mentioning there's two amg line packages i'm just going to go over it now one of them comes with chrome accents the other is a gloss black accent package essentially we got a lot of those gloss black accents so you guys can clearly tell with us here today i think it looks dang good but anyways the gloss black version of the amg line package with uh with night package it's called goes for twenty five hundred dollars in case you were curious whereas the other one i think i said is twenty one hundred so body colored power adjustable side mirrors do come standard but if you go with that night package that we have today it's going to be gloss black side mirrors they will be heated with led integrated turn signals then as well and power folding I don't want to forget to mention that. That's pretty cool. I like the chrome accent found on the door handles as well. And then taking a look down at the wheel setup, 18 inch split five spoke alloys do come standard 18 inch AMG specific alloys coming with the AMG line packages. You guys can clearly tell that looks dang good. And I love those massive rotors and calipers behind those front wheels as well. Definitely makes a statement, the drilled rotors there. So big fan. And there are 18 and 19 inch wheel designs available for this thing as well to really personalize it and make it your own. But anyways, Loving the snow, let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so now since we are around to the back of this one, first thing I wanna mention, if we didn't have that rear spoiler that you guys are looking at, it kind of is an integrated almost rear spoiler, so it has a good look to it either way. There's also no shark fin antenna all the way to the top. The Mercedes-Benz has been doing that a lot lately, which I love. It's a very clean look to the back end, so big fan of that. But anyways, rear spoiler goes for $350. You can get it in gloss black or body colored if you would prefer that. We got the gloss black, obviously. So I think that looks good with all of our other gloss black accents on this one. You do have the formatic badging if the C-Class that you end up getting is equipped. Of course, LED taillights, very recognizable, very bright. 
as well. So you gotta love that. And then just below it all, you're gonna find a gloss black rear diffuser. If you go with one of those AMG line packages, I think that looks pretty darn good as well. But my favorite part perhaps, integrated dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So they're integrated into the rear bumper. Always love that look, very high end look. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. As always, here is that exhaust clip. All right, so but now since we are around to the back of this one, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, it actually is a power trunk. There is a button on the key fob. There's actually also a button on the driver's side door, but either way is perfectly fine. And then there's a button on the trunk itself to go ahead and close it. But anyways, once opened up, car capacity comes in at 10.5 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 40-20-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down. The levers are in the trunk itself for a good bit of extra space then if you needed it. There is some cargo lighting back there. There's also some netted storage found in the corners. And there are actually some chrome plated tie down anchors, which you very rarely find in sedans, let alone coupes. You never find that in coupes. So was kind of surprised to see that, but that's pretty cool. But anyways, then making our way up to the rear legroom, 32 inches even is what that number comes in at. So I'm not even gonna try it. Not a whole lot of space for me, but rear ventilation surprisingly does come standard. You never find that in coupes. So that is dang impressive. And as far as the rear cup holders go, there's no center armrest or anything, but the cup holders are actually located right between the rear two passengers in case you were curious where that was. So then making our way up to the front seats, power adjustable front seats with four-way power lumbar does come standard. There are memory settings for up to three different drivers. A lot of times you'll find two on other manufacturers. So Mercedes-Benz always has a tendency to do three. I like that. Heated front seats do come standard. Leather finishes is available. MB Tex upholstery coming standard, but ventilated front seats then go for $450. Overall, as far as seat comfort goes, I I liked the four-way power adjustable power lumbar. That definitely helped with seat comfort. Had no issues finding my perfect driving position because of that. Having said that, to perfect the seats, I would probably go with the vertical seams because then there's no awkward pressure points because there's a lot of horizontal seams in these particular seats. But anyways, then making our way up to the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped. It is an AMG specific steering wheel. If you were to go with the AMG line packages, one of the two at least, so did want to mention that. And the heated steering wheel is available for an additional $250 and so now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here essentially all of your buttons are located on one side of the key got lock unlock and of course that button to pop the power trunk as well but it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot of the brake and press that silver engine start button there and so once started up I love the gauges with Mercedes-Benz they got a 12.3 inch fully digital gauge cluster which is completely customizable more so than any other manufacturer that I typically test so there's actually steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel you get to choose between uh, sport progressive and uh, classic it completely changes the look of the gauges up front so I am a huge fan of that no like I said no other brands really allow you the ability to change it up as much as Mercedes-Benz does. So I was definitely quite fond of that. Of course, you could check out your driving modes up there, outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. Everything else is pretty basic, but you can really customize these gauges, let me tell you. But anyways, then make your way to overall interior quality. Let me start with a panorama roof. Actually, does come standard on the C300 Coupe. I love that. Overhead sunglass holder as well. Universal garage door opener on the bottom of the rear view mirror for up to three different garage doors there dual zoom climate control coming standard 64 colors of ambient lighting absolutely love that so we have it set to purple here apparently wireless phone charger is available for an additional two hundred dollars that is located uh kind of front and center there so we do have that too just behind all that you got a couple cup holders within the center armrest decent amount of storage with the phone charging port actually in there as well but overall interior quality mercedes-benz always crushes it specifically with the ambient lighting it's better than any other manufacturer that i know of so well done mercedes-benz as always then take a good look at the infotainment screen here 
10.25 inch high resolution display. It is not touchscreen because everything is controlled by using the touchpad controller and buttons. So didn't want to mention that, but Bluetooth audio streaming does come standard. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay as well. And I also forgot to mention, you have that Hey Mercedes functionality. So if you were to say that, you can essentially tell it to do whatever you want it to do. So that's pretty cool. But of course you can adjust your ambient lighting settings up on that screen as well, along with your radio information. And so when it comes to the sound system, you get a 13 speaker, Burmester surround sound system that comes standard with 590 watts and a nine channel digital amplifier. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. Yeah, it's plenty fine. Definitely plenty fine of a sound system. Burmester, the speaker quality is super high quality as well. They're actually finished in aluminum. That's not a plastic that you're looking at right there. So super high quality speakers there. Plenty of bass. Clarity was fine. So definitely no issues with that sound system whatsoever. All right, so the last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put this one in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board. Surround view monitor is available, giving you the bird's eye view, which is always it's going to lead us into safety. And so first, let me start by saying IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus for the C-Class. So you gotta love that. It doesn't get any better than that. Front side side current airbags do come standard. Driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers to children for the rear car seats. Rear child door locks, high pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard. A driver attention monitoring system, crosswind assist, blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert and adaptive braking technology then as well and so i did want to mention one more thing there is a driver assistance package that goes for seventeen hundred dollars and that really gives you all of the other advanced safety like lane keep assist and speed limit recognition just to name a couple but there's a long list with that particular package so overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the c300 coupe still incredibly good looking to this day. I love the look of this coupe. It's very elegant, but still very performance oriented at the same time. The ambient lighting is absolutely wonderful on this thing. Digital gauges are great because they're insanely customizable. Like I said, still to this day, I don't think any other gauge cluster out there can match what Mercedes-Benz can do with the customization when it comes to those digital gauges. Great driving dynamics, of course, as well, when it comes to the braking, the handling, the acceleration, paddle shifters, all that fun stuff. As far as constructive criticism goes, that last driver assistance package, that should be standard. Safety should come standard, especially on luxury manufacturers, just because the other manufacturers are putting it all as standard, like Toyota and Honda and Hyundai and Kia and all, all of them give all of that stuff, link keep assist, draw speed limit recognition, that all comes standard on those. So it would make sense that Mercedes would do the same. And this thing can get quite pricey with options as well. I believe the uh, tester here that we have is 59,000 or somewhere in that ballpark. So anyways, and so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in the new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold <laughs>